What up guys, Sirtrix here, and I'm bringing you guys a Grand Theft Auto 4 gameplay. And uh, that's not going to be the focus on it. The focus is, I am ready for Grand Theft Auto 5, as well as everybody else in the entire world that plays video games is right now. Um, pretty sure everybody's really hoping that they have this game already, or Grand Theft Auto 5 already. I know I do. Uh, whenever I see those gameplays on YouTube with the people that got it early, I'm so jealous. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit sick, so just try not to mind my voice. Uh, regardless whether I was sick or not, I had to put out this video. Because it is the day before Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out. And, uh, I thought it'd only be right to say goodbye to Grand Theft Auto 4. And, um, by that, I'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about Grand Theft Auto 5, what I plan on bringing out while playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 4. And, uh, right now, I'm playing multiplayer, uh, free roam. But, um, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about, um, what kind of content I'm bringing out on GTA 5 and what you guys want to see. Um, as far as what I thought about bringing out, uh, I was going to do a multiplayer Mondays whenever, um, the multiplayer is available. Um, every Monday I was going to do a multiplayer match or a few multi- or just play multiplayer the whole day. Uh, think of something to do with the multiplayer, basically, um, whether it be a few games of like team deathmatch or uh, a team deathmatch a race or free roam online uh, i'm not quite sure yet but it's going to have some type of objective to it so it's not so boring but um i'm gonna i'm gonna think that one out um more thoroughly but i have more time to think about it due to the uh, multiplayer not being out is what i heard so um yeah i'll, I'll have more time to think about that one and um yeah, that's that's really one of my only thoughts for right now. I was gonna bring, you, I was gonna do a walkthrough mission by mission, but I thought that would be kind of boring. So just tell me if you guys want to actually see that. Uh, how many of you guys would like to see a walkthrough mission by mission, or just like me playing mission by mission live commentating? Um, tell me how many of you guys would like to see that. And uh, I thought it'd be an alright idea. It'd be kind of hard. It'd be a lot of recording and um, a lot of uh, rendering and whatnot. But I'm willing to do it if that's what you guys want to see. And um, I just want to know if that's what you guys want to watch. I'm not sure what type of content people are going to be bringing out on GTA 5. I don't know what I could do that would be different, uh, what type of different content I could bring out on it. But um, usually I wouldn't do these type of videos over a new game. Like I wouldn't be like, uh, oh, what do you guys want to see on this game? But this game is so big and has so much hype. Um, it's almost as, it's almost, it's almost as if um, it's like a new console coming out or something. That's how big uh, this game is. Like, it's ridiculous. Everybody I know, uh, everybody at school is talking about it. People I didn't even know play video games. Everybody. Like, it's so anticipated to be a great game. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And so many other people are. And uh, I just thought that this game was going to be huge, as well as a lot of other people do. And I, I just want to know what you guys want to see on it. Like, I want to bring up uh, a lot of content on it, being that you guys always, um, or being that you guys want to see it, obviously, because uh, everybody's so hyped up about this game. So why not bring a lot of content out about it? I mean, not to make it a big deal, but this game is kind of a big deal. Um, <clears throat> they haven't made a Grand Theft Auto since the Xbox came out, which is the one I'm playing right now. So uh, it kind of is a big deal for a lot of people. So I just really want to know what you guys want to see. On it. Oh god, wrecked my viper. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty at the driving and whatnot. Uh, right now I'm going to get the um, what should we call it? God, I forgot the name of everything. I don't even remember what it's called, but that rally racing car it looks like a Subaru or something. Um. That's my favorite car of all time on this game. But, um, yeah, I haven't watched too much stuff on Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, a lot of people are looking up videos, telling me things about it, but I haven't really watched any videos, haven't took the time, because I really want it to be all a surprise to me. And, um, I don't want it to be new to me. I don't want to just, like, watch it and then expect, or uh, know what to expect and whatnot. I want to have everything fresh and brand new, uh, like it should be. But uh, I hear there's a lot of people that are posting content out on the game already, and it's not even out yet. 
the people that uh, have deals and shit like that, like big timers on YouTube and stuff uh, that have the big deals, and they get the games early. Um, God, I am just crashing every few seconds. But um, yeah, it's hard for me to do live comms. I really don't pay attention to the gameplay. <laughs> I pay attention to what I'm talking about, so I always end up messing up every time I do one of these. Oh God, what did I just do? Like I said. Alright, um, I just completely got off the topic, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Oh yeah, but I, I heard a lot of people, um, posting videos before it came out and all that. And, uh, that's cool and everything. And, uh, I, of course, I wish I had that ability, but I thought you couldn't do that back until the game came out. Which I was pretty disappointed in. Because I wanted to make, um, content within the first, like, day of it coming out. And I wanted to be like one of the first people to put out certain videos, but as you can see, there's already people putting out so many videos on it. It's ridiculous, but I'm gonna be putting out a lot of content on it though. I'm gonna spread out with a lot of um, single uploads, not in a series, like um, just certain vehicles, driving certain vehicles, using certain guns, um, just a bunch of separate little uploads so you guys could see separately without watching the whole entire video to see one thing. So if you guys are interested or if anybody searches up something they can just find what they're looking for and just watch what they're looking for instead of going through a whole entire video and, and seeing what they want to see. So I thought that would be a good idea. So that's one thing I'm doing for sure whether uh, it's requested or not requested because I thought that would be cool. Hey, you and, um, yeah, the map, the uh, the world looks huge on there. It's ridiculous. You know, a helicopter above it. Yeah, the world looks ridiculously big. I seen a video of a guy driving through a desert, and he was driving for like literally an hour. And uh, I, I thought that was pretty crazy and a really cool thing to do. Make the map a lot bigger than they usually do. I mean, look at this map. It's pretty pretty big compared to all the other guns and but at the same time, it's pretty small. So, and this helicopter is stalking me right now, like hardcore. Oh, why are my cars not even there? Okay, this helicopter is going to try something. I'm going to have to pop him real quick. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, someone just hacked because like five, six people just died all at once. So, yeah, that's that's one thing I'm not liking about this game. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Well, why I stopped playing it mainly is because of the hackers. And, uh, I hate when people just kill you like that. Like, I'm just minding my own business. I'm not playing Team Deathmatch. I'm playing Free For All. Or Free Roam. But anyways, yeah, that's that's one of the main reasons I stopped playing this game. The hackers. The little faggots that get their little ISO discs and think they're cool with their little mods on Grand Theft Auto. If you're gonna mod on Grand Theft Auto, just do it on your own, like, private match type of thing. Don't do it in public and ruin everybody else's experience, like, I hope that does not happen in Grand Theft Auto 5. I have a, a bad feeling about it, that people that create those ISO mods, they're gonna be going ham trying to figure out how to do it so they can make some money off of it. Um, but I hope not, because, uh, it's really annoying, and it ruins the game, like, so many times. I was just playing this game with my friends for fun, and the hacker would like join in the session and just ruin it for us, and then we have to find a new game. But I hope that dude doesn't blow me up again. I'm gonna get my car. But yeah, like I was saying about the maps, um, I see that they have a lot of biomes, like desert, um, country kind of um, area, <coughs> and uh, cities, all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's pretty cool. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, one of my favorite things, personally, was the country kind of theme on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, I loved how I love where that game is, uh, where it took place at. It was such an awesome place, like uh, California, LA area. Uh, it was a really cool place to drive around on in Grand Theft Auto to experience that because not a lot of people get to experience it, especially if you live all the way on the east side. Uh, not a lot of people get the experience like the way uh, LA looks, like the west side and whatnot. So I thought that was really cool. And you get to drive around the country area, you get to drive around the city area, and uh, I love the casinos, the gambling, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh, sorry about my dog. I'm gonna let him stop barking before I continue. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but 
pretty loud. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I hope they have the casino stuff and all that kind of crap. And I heard they are. From what I see, they are. Uh, they're gonna have all kinds of different interactive things that you could do. Uh, one of my favorite features is the robbing the banks. I thought that was really cool. How you could uh, rob a bank with a friend, decide how you want the money split to go. I thought that was really awesome. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of bank robbing. Maybe a little series out of it. Bank Robber Tuesday. I don't know. No, I'm just playing. But anyways, I'm just so psyched for this game. And I know it don't sound like it. Uh, I'm just thinking why not. You guys already know. The last like two commentaries I'm pretty sick in. But uh, I'm getting over it. It's almost over with. It makes me kind of sound gloomy and tired. Who wants to hear a commentary that's like gloomy and tired? But uh, it's the truth though. I am. I as hell. But uh, I wish I could get Grand Theft Auto 5 um, at midnight release. But unfortunately I can't. I have school. And I'm not one of those people that are just able to skip school. Uh, to get a midnight release, so I can't do that, so I won't be bringing you any content at midnight, like a lot of people will. Uh, but I'll try and be really quick about it as soon as I get home. Uh, but I do have a doctor's appointment on the day it comes out tomorrow, and I have to go get my social security card so I can get my license. So, um, yeah, I won't be bringing content until like late Tuesday, um, at the latest Wednesday, because I'm going to have a pretty busy day. And I, uh, I pre-ordered mine from uh, Microsoft's website, microsoftstore.com, which I thought was pretty interesting because not many people know about that website like for pre-ordering games. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, GameStop is advertised everywhere, you already know that. Uh, GameStop advertised on the uh, dashboard. Whenever you click on the dashboard on the Xbox, you see pre-order now. Uh, that's through GameStop. And that's what really all the people uh, pre-order stuff from, but I went to, I googled pre-order GTA 5, and I found you could pre-order it on um, the Microsoft website. Uh, it's not like a highly advertised thing to do, like it's not in the top of the search page, you had to go through a couple pages to find it. But when uh, I pre-ordered it, it was cheaper than pre-ordering it from, um, micro, or from GameStop. It was like $5 cheaper for pre-ordering it on the website. And, uh, I mean, if you pre-order it from, um, like, GameStop itself, like, if you go there, you can put down as much money as you want, so it doesn't cost any more than what the game costs. But on the website, I've seen that it costs a little bit extra, uh, for tax and all that. But, um, through, uh, Microsoft website, it costs less, and you get a free 1600 Microsoft Point card, uh, sent to your email. Uh, if you order it within, like, two days before it comes out or anywhere before then. Uh, so that's really cool, that's like getting $20 back after you pay for the game, which is pretty amazing. And uh, I just don't know why they don't advertise that more. Like, why don't Microsoft advertise their pre-ordering system more? Uh, they have amazing deals. And uh, I already got my tracking number, it's supposed to be 24 hour shipping. It says it's going to be here tomorrow, the day it comes out, uh, at 4 p.m. So I mean, that's, it doesn't get no better. Like, pre -order, Grand Theft Auto 5, you get $20 back, and they ship it to your front door without you having to go anywhere the day it comes out. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And it was free 24 hour shipping, too. So, 100% free. They do it all for you. Packaging, free, everything. So, that was pretty amazing. Then. And, uh, I highly suggest to, uh, to pre order from Microsoft in the future. If you're looking to pre order a new game, just check it out. I know I'm going to check it out again. That was the first time I've ever used the services, and I hope they all go well. Hope I actually get the game on the day it says I will get it. If not, then never mind what I said. Don't use your services. <laughs> no, I'm just fine. But, um, yeah, I, I really don't have too much more to say about GTA 5. Uh, basically, you guys know uh, as much as I do. And, um, basically, this video is just to tell you guys, like, what I'm going to be bringing out and, like, uh, what I got to pre order it and all that. To inform you guys I'm bringing content out on it. And ask you guys overall, most of all, what you guys want to see. I'm uh, not sure what you guys want to see yet. So I hope you guys do leave that feedback so I can know. And, uh, that's been about it. I'm not going to make this one last like 20 minutes long. And um, yeah, I know I didn't really do too much driving around. But I'm bored. Just 
waiting for that Grand Theft Auto 5 to come out. I think I'm just gonna sit in the same spot till it comes to my door. No, I'm just playing. But um, yeah, I'm out, guys. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe uh, for more content. And yeah, just get ready for some amazing Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Um, if you guys want to do any collaborations, hit me up. If you guys want to play uh, multiplayer whenever it comes out, hit me up. Uh, I'll be more than happy to play with you guys. And um, yeah, peace out.